Southwest Arkansas Weather Authority. Since the longest day of the year last week, we've now trimmed about a minute off of our uh, daylight hours. I just kind of wanted to tell you that, that we're heading toward winter. Uh, but it's not going to feel like it. We have a lot of clear skies here this morning. Live look at Prairie Creek. Some clouds in the distance. Uh, these clouds are leftover tops from thunderstorms that moved through eastern Arkansas. That's a long ways away from us. 71 in Fayetteville, 76 degrees in Bentonville, 78 in Fort Smith. These are the lows of the day. Some of those not that low, 80 right now in Russellville. When you only bottom out some Somewhere around 80. Uh, that is uh, kind of tells you the, the amount of heat that's in the atmosphere. And we've got a heat advisory and excessive heat warnings in effect. Now, the heat advisory, we know what that is because we get that all the time when we have uh, heat and humidity feel like temperatures of 105 to 110 for this afternoon. But these excessive heat warnings are issued for some of the major city areas Little Rock, Memphis, or at least West Memphis, St. Louis, Kansas City when the temperature does not fall very far at night. So it stays. On the hot side, longer, and that is dangerous. Now, what that what that hap what they expect in these areas is that they believe Weather Service says this is the type of uh, event that we will have uh, some uh, heat strokes, some heat issues. There'll be heat-related sicknesses in these areas. So they're kind of alerting the public to go, hey, uh, that's how serious that excessive heat warning is if you live in Little Rock for, the, uh, for this afternoon. So here we have this complex of storms moving through eastern parts of Arkansas this morning, leaving some clouds. You can saw those off in the distance. That will not affect our weather. Some models say there may be a pop-up storm because of it later today. I don't believe so. But watch it. I want to take you back. Remember we showed you that storm yesterday, uh, west of uh, Oz, uh, Omaha yesterday? That thing just was prolific, moving through uh, Iowa, Illinois, Missouri, now headed off toward the south. And look at the line of severe weather it caused north of Omaha through Des Moines. A lot of wind damage uh, that went through these areas. 638 storm reports from these clusters of storms uh, in the past 24 hours. Another one developing now uh, to the north. This is the northern plains of North Dakota. That has been a, another prolific windmaker, even trenders over parts of Montana. So this is where the jet stream is most active. This is that rim of high pressure that's over us that pretty much just has us socked in the heat and the humidity. High today will be in the low to mid-90s. And I've been watching some of the thermometers in the local areas. Fayetteville was sitting at 92 yesterday for about their high. I think we hit 93 for the official high in Fayetteville. But many areas, many of your thermometers were registering 98, 99, 100. That'll be the case for today. Uh, Drake Field, Fayetteville, a little different, but that's where we keep the normal numbers. Uh, they're in a valley, while the rest of us will be sweltering. I think uh, highs uh, will be into the upper 90s and might even see one, some 100s again for this afternoon. We'll drop down into the low to mid 70s for tonight with clear skies, and then tomorrow will be another hot day. Maybe just a trim off of some of the humidity, but I'm talking about like maybe a degree. High temperatures once again in the mid to upper 90s uh, like we see today. All right, so that's the forecast. 93 today, 93 on Saturday, 91 on Sunday, July 1st on Sunday. It uh, looks like a slight chance for a shower or thunder shower on Sunday. Uh, maybe a couple uh, opportunities there, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. But again, it's right now just a slight chance. This ridge of high pressure is still pretty strong, so I'm not real convinced that will happen. And then Monday, slight chance. The fourth looks to be hot. High temperatures in the low 90s. So, uh, even though we're saying 93, mm -hmm. where we keep official numbers, that's how we track right. our accuracy, um, many areas will see 97, 98. Mm. Hot. Getting close to that 100 mark. Yes. Not quite yet, though. That hasn't yeah. happened in a long time. It hasn't happened. At least in, nor or in Fayetteville. It's been a long time. Yeah. And I think we'll eventually get there. Mm -hmm. I think um, I'm thinking that this ridge hangs with us for most of July. Mm -hmm. And so I think by the third week, once we dry out, then we'll probably start approaching that number. So. Yeah.